everyone. Today I'm going to do my October favorites for you guys and then at the end of this video I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys as well. For those of you who don't know, I have been on vacation for the past week. I went on a Disney cruise with my husband so I haven't been able to answer any messages or respond to comments or anything like that. We weren't able to have any internet access or you had to pay per minute um, while on the cruise for internet access so I just turned my phone off and because I didn't want to pay extra for that so it was so weird not having a phone you don't really realize how much you depend on having Google right there just if you want to know something or checking the weather and things like that it's just so weird not having your phone but anyways I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys for being so patient with me while I was gone and while I'm trying to catch up on everything and just to show my appreciation for how nice you've all you all have been on my last video all of you have been giving me such nice feedback and all of your comments and everything have just been so so sweet so I just wanted to do something special for you guys but first I will get started with my October favorites so my first favorite for this month is something that I used in my last video and it's the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Mad for Mauve and I love wearing purples and plums and things like that in the fall so these this quad has been my favorite I've been using these two all over my lid kind of doing this in the outer corner and using this as a liner or in my outer corner more for a nighttime look um, I've been using just the plums during the day but I love this quad so much it's very very pretty and very pigmented as well and my next favorite for this month is the Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in the color zero which is probably their most popular eyeliner but I just like this because it's very easy to use in your waterline so I just apply it right underneath my lashes and it just makes them look a little bit more full and it doesn't smudge or move like a lot of other eyeliner pencils do so definitely recommend this if you like to line your waterline waterline area and you have a hard time finding one that doesn't move or that doesn't stay. Um, these stay very, very well and I definitely recommend it. I kind of go back and forth. I wear more brown eyeliners in the spring and the summer when I don't wear as much makeup and then normally switch to a black in the fall and the winter. So I've been using this one a lot this month and I definitely recommend it. My next favorite for this month is what I'm wearing on my lips today and it's the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the color Dragon Girl. This is just a really pretty red with a slight blue undertone. They also have one that's called Red Square which has more of a orange undertone depending on your skin coloring. Um, but I love these because you can you don't really have to apply them directly from the pencil. If you put a little bit on your finger and blend it into your lip and then put a lip balm on top, it acts more as a stain than as a true pencil pigmented red. Um, today I applied it just with the pencil because I wanted to have a little bit more color but if you want it just as a stain they work really well as that and they don't move. They last for a really long time because they are matte but with them being matte they're not drying like a lot of other matte lipsticks are. So I definitely recommend trying these. Um, they're a little bit more pricey but they last for a really long time. The only downside is that you have to get a larger um, pencil, like a pencil sharpener for these. My next favorite for this month has been a sample that I've been trying and it's the Bobbi Brown um, Mineral Powder in the color Light. I've never really been a fan of mineral foundations or mineral powders just because I felt like they looked cakey but this one it does not look cakey I'm definitely gonna purchase the large size of this once I'm finished with my sample I've it's actually been lasting lasting me a long time I have a pretty good bit um, left but anyways I normally don't like mineral powders because they look kind of cakey or you can kind of see it sit on top of the skin a little bit but this one blends in very very nicely it has a really nice glow to it without looking shiny so I've been using this just as my foundation for um, the past few weeks and I really really love it definitely recommend it my next favorite for this month is something that I've been using for years and something that I've just talked about recently in another video, but it's my Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. And this is a lip balm that kind of has a little bit of a red tint, but I just like this so much because it's very easy to use. It just gives a slight tint to your lips, so it's not an over overpowering color like what I have on right now. It's just really basic, great for every day, um, and it's also very moisturizing and it smells just like Dr. Pepper, which I love. So this is the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. My next favorite for this month has been Taylor Swift's Enchanted Wonderstruck Fragrance, which is her newer fragrance. This is the one that's red. Obviously, the other one is purple. The first one that she came out with was a little bit too sweet for my taste, but I really like this one. You do have to wait for it to die down before it starts to get 
into the complexity of the fragrance. It's more sweet when you first apply it, which I don't really like sweet scents, but it's more of a sweet berry than a sweet floral, which I don't mind. I'm really, really picky when it comes to fragrances, but this one dries down to a really nice kind of spicy, it has a little bit of a spicier undertone to it, but it still has a sweetness that smells really nice if you like sweeter fragrances. So if you thought that her first, um, just regular Wonderstruck was too sweet for you, then I definitely recommend trying the Enchanted Wonderstruck. And also purchasing a rollerball version of it if you can't get a sample of it is a great way to try it without having to spend a lot of money on the bottle itself. So I like to buy rollerballs of fragrances before I actually purchase a perfume just to make sure that it, I like it whenever I wear it. The next two things are nail polish products. The first one is the Julep Quick Dry Drops. Quick Dry? Quick Dry Polish Drops with Vitamin E and Lavender. This smells just like lavender and it seriously, when you put one drop on your nail after um, painting your nails, it dries it instantly. I don't know how it does that, but it's crazy. And also it hydrates your cuticles. So especially in the winter, my cuticles get really, really dry. So this has vitamin E and lavender, which is really nice. Um, it's kind of like an essential oil base. So you can feel it like oiliness around your cuticles, which is really hydrating. So these were awesome. I paid $5 for this. Um, I got it as my add-on for the month of October. So I definitely recommend trying this out because they work so, so well. And then the next nail product is open PIs on Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is what I have on right now, and it's from the new James Bond collection. And I don't know how I would describe this. It's kind of got like a duochrome to it, um, and then it also has glitter. Um, it also has like I think it's silver glitter. Yeah, it looks silver, but the duochrome kind of plays it up and makes it look a little bit different in different lighting. So I love this color. I thought it was very unique. I like shimmery colors like this for winter, so this was the one that I chose. Okay, so that was all of my favorites for the month of October. Now getting into the giveaway. Um, while I was at Disney, I picked up this um, mini witch hat for you guys. It's a honey vanilla cookie, so it's got all the ingredients and everything right here on the back, but I just thought that it was so cute because it has a little Minnie Mouse bow with mini ears and then this little witch hat, which I thought was really, really cute and perfect for Halloween. And then when I was at Target, actually, I saw this Mickey and Minnie Everyday Planner. So it's got every day of the week for the whole year of 2013, which I thought also would be cute just to keep up with your schedule and things like that. And then I got the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Mad for Mom just like mine. Um, I love these colors so I wanted you guys to try it as well. And then I also picked up the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker for you guys because I love this and I wanted you to try it too. And then while I was at Target I got a couple of e.l.f. nail polishes. This one is a really pretty deep plum purple color and this one is just a really basic um, taupe. It's kind of like a really good neutral for fall and the winter. So I got all of that and all of that will be included in the giveaway and I will have all the information and everything at the end of this video on how to enter and also down below this video. So it's going to end in a couple of weeks from today and all the information and everything will be listed below. So good luck and thank you guys so much for all of your support and all of your sweet comments and everything and for being patient with me while I was gone and I hope that you all have a happy Halloween and a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!